is winding down, but there's still some. You're not drying out just yet. But overall, there's really nothing to worry about at this point. The winds calm down, the rain going away. This is 4 and 5 a.m. for tomorrow. So early Friday, we're in good shape to have dry weather across the area. Now throughout the day, we'll actually have the sun peeking back out from behind the clouds on Friday. And by the afternoon, we should have an easy time to actually have a pretty warm day of weather. And we'll start that process of re drying out the ground again. Might have to cut that grass pretty soon, right? Uh, rain totals from here on out for the rest of the night shouldn't be all that impressive. Generally just adding maybe a quarter to a half an inch of rainfall on top of what has already fallen. That's about it. We do still have our news to WFMY weather impact alert day. It continues for the rest of tonight and into early on Friday. The reason is rivers are going to continue to rise. The Haw River has already risen from about two and a half feet up to around 19 feet. From there, it could still go as high as 27 feet. That would be happening overnight tonight and into early tomorrow. So the rivers flooding, that's still a concern, especially over toward Haw River. Cleanup efforts, maybe you're picking up tra uh, you know, anything that's blown around in your yard, limbs, trees, those types of things. That is still a little bit on the dangerous side, so make sure to be careful out there tomorrow just in case any of that debris does continue to fall. The weather setup is pretty interesting going into the next couple of days. We have the tropical system that goes away. It actually moves all the way up into places like Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York State, and New England. And then behind it, we have this cold front that's settling in. It would be really nice if it came all the way through and gave us some refreshingly cool, crisp fall air into our region. It doesn't quite clear us, but it does come close. We're going to see slightly drier air by Saturday. Temperatures will be in the mid 80s. We'll have only a low chance of a shower on Saturday afternoon. A little bit better chance as you go closer to the North Carolina beaches. High pressures over here. That's going to move in too as we work our way into Sunday. So overall, the weather pattern for the weekend is pretty much on the dry side of things. So if we were to take a look at your weekend forecast, it does look like this. Temperatures in the upper 80s for Saturday mostly a dry forecast of weather there. And then on Sunday, we'll call for highs to be a little bit on the cooler side, mostly in the low to mid 80s for Sunday afternoon with just a low chance of a shower or a pop up storm. If we want to look at the long range forecast, you'll see here that low pressure, what used to be tropical depression, Debbie is continuing to move to the north out of North Carolina and into Virginia. So for tomorrow, all of that rain is pretty much gone. And like I said, we're pretty dry going into Saturday and we we should be pretty dry overall going into Sunday as well. That's the general weather pattern from here. The seven day forecast doesn't have a lot of variety. In fact, we're going to see a lot of the same kind of weather over the next couple of days for tomorrow. Still be on the alert side of things, especially for the morning. That could be when we still have some flooding happening across the area. And once we get into the afternoon, the sunshine comes back in full force and it'll warm us up. We'll have a pretty dry and warm afternoon of weather. From there, we go toward a sunny Saturday with temperatures in the upper 80s. And then from there, most afternoons will have highs in the mid 80s as we go into next week with very little chance for rain from time to time. So bottom line, we're almost done with Debbie. It is not quite done with us, but all the bad stuff might end up being over. We're over the hump at least at this point of the evening. So bottom line, on again, off again rainfall does continue. It'll last through the rest of your Thursday evening, but most of the heavy action is over with and it'll all be over with by Friday morning. Flooding could continue to be a big problem, especially along the rivers, places like the Haw River, the Yadkin River, and all the other ones in our area will be running high. If you live along those rivers, this is the time that you might not have seen that water quite that high in many, many years. The winds have already weakened and that's good news. We'll hope to keep on seeing calmer conditions as the night rolls on. To get the latest, we'll have more updates throughout the evening.